Hey everybody, Fat Bird Finds here. I'm Laura, one half of the Fat Bird Finds duo of Laura and Mary Beth. Welcome to Fat Bird Finds Crafting. We are so happy that you chose to spend your time with us today. We appreciate you all so much. Let's jump right in and do our calendar pages of the day. First of all, we will do the New York Times headlines and history for today's date, which is Tuesday, January the 30th. This time it is in the year 1861, the new state of Kansas. An article in the Times celebrated the admittance of Kansas as the 34th state in a central geographic position and with institutions as free and elastic as the air on her prairies. The writer hoped that as a free state with a southern border north of the 36 by 30 parallel, Kansas obliterated the Missouri Compromise Line and resolved the national tension over slavery's future. Thus is settled authoritatively and peacefully a quarrel which has for years threatened to precipitate the nation into civil convulsions. All right. So 1861. And then our other calendar page of the day comes from A Thousand Places to See Before You Die. And that is, don't pay any attention to the date. This one's last year's calendar. Um, but it's for long beaches of the world. Seven Mile Beach, Negro, Jamaica, Grand, Greater Antilles. So look how beautiful that is. Negro's pride and joy is at Seven Mile Beach, Jamaica's longest stretch of sand. To dig your toes into an especially long beach, however, travel to one of these epically long distance beaches from around the world. So in Australia, Fraser Island has 75 miles of beach. Padre Island in Texas, 65 miles of beach. Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, that's interesting. Long Beach Peninsula, Washington, USA, 28 miles of beach. And Musenberg Beach, Cape Town, South Africa with 25 miles of beach. So there you have it, enough beach for everyone. Jamaica is definitely a bucket list place for me to go. Maybe one day. Okay, so today we are going to be um, working in the color glue book. So excited. I've been saving up images for you guys and um, I've been itching to get back to it. This is my color glue book or my practice glue book like we talked about earlier this is my very first glue book and so I've been wanting to get back to the color glue book po portion of this one there's also some random pages but we we're gonna work a lot in the color portion today and then um, I also put some more background pages in and we might see what those look like when we get to them um, let me show you what I what I've put in since since you and I've been together. I don't know if I had that one in there already. I think maybe I did. But here's the random pages that we have. This one, this one, this one. I put these in there. I'll be able to cover this this these words with real one big image here but I love this look this boho jungle kind of look um, oh here's one look look at this boo-boo you guys I'm gonna have to do a uh, washi tape at the bottom because my page wasn't quite big enough and there was this one so I, I, I think I found a few images to go on these random pages so that'll be good. Oh, this is our Christmas page that we did before. I still love this one. I guess we need to do another Christmas page on this side. There's a, another one that we did. This was really kind of my first double page, just random, not color glue book or anything. Love that. And let's see. I did work a little bit on the color glue book without you guys. We've got this. I love how that image looks, but I just need a little piece right here. 
And then I do need a little something to cover this up. She's just a little risque right there. <laughs> Probably some words will do the trick there. Let's see. These are all still the same. I don't think anything new has happened here. I want to put some washi tape right here. This is totally coming out, up. So we'll have to kind of repair that a little. Um, let's see. Oh, I did this white page. So that leaves, I think only one white one that needs a good background, but I thought this was great. Um, ah, so cute. Little champ, he's one of my favorite pages. Let's see. Yeah, so I think the rest of them are kind of the same that we're gonna work in these and, and change these up a little today. Get these, get these guys going. I'm gonna try to do a little, little, little repair work there. Cause that red's really been bugging me. So here we go. I thought a little music would be nice here as we're going along. Um, so that when I'm quiet in between, you guys can just watch what I'm doing and kind of follow along. This is this little portion of the video is a voiceover and the music is helps it be kind of soothing and relaxing. You can just kind of kick back and and watch me fill in the fill in the colors. I'm very excited to get this red repaired. By the way, I apologize profusely for the glare. I'm working on that. I'm gonna work on um, my setup. My tech skills are not the greatest, so I'm gonna work on my setup and see if I can eliminate the, the glare that I have with this angle. So I apologize for that. Um, but yeah, here I'm repairing this red, so I feel much better about my life now. <laughs> I'm gonna put this um, washi tape, which covers a multitude of sins, and then I've filled in the holes, so I think we're ready to go here. Trimming those edges is so satisfying, right?
I decided um, to try one big object on this page to help, you know, hide some of those repairs. But that one was just, there was way too much white and, and light in that. I want to really stay true to the red. Now, I love these glossy balls that I found. Um, they came in the ad with that purse. So those were a great find. And I think they end up looking fantastic. So I'm trying to work on my purple. Uh, this puppy dog, I had him, you saw me try him in the white, but that purple just popped right out when I put him on the white pages. So seeing as my purple is such a disaster and <laughs> is in need of so much help, I think I'm going to move him there. And as you can see right there, I cut him out. I think he would have done just as well if I hadn't cut him out, if I left him the little rectangle. But still, he looks really cute there. I know it's still a lot of white, but purple's difficult, y'all. On my next for real uh, glue book, <laughs> uh, my for real color glue book, this is my practice on my for real one. Purple is going to be, uh, I'm going to have to save up for that because it's really hard to, to do. But I think this is passable. What do you guys think? I think it looks cute. So, yeah, there you saw that was a black page that that Chanel bottle finally went on to next to a white page. I think also on my next glue book, I think I'm going to have double page spreads. 
Like, I don't like the one color ending on the left and another color starting on the right. That's just me. I'm just going to divide it up and put some different... If I have to put something different in the book or tear out a page to make it even, I will. Um, because I just it's just better to me and my brain uh, to do it that way. I don't like for the pages to... I don't like to have to worry about the pages matching each other left and right. But you do you. You do it however you like. But I just like that continuous look of the two pages of the same color together. So here we go struggling with the purple again, y'all. See what you think um, when I get that done. So I'm hesitating here a minute, and I do end up putting this, uh, looks like from Beauty and the Beast, right? This rose under glass on the page. I just went ahead and went for it. I kind of wish now I hadn't put it there. It's not really red enough for me, but, you know, you, this is, this is just for fun. So I'll find something to make it more red. And then moving on, we'll do a little orange here. Um, I love the pumpkin with the haunted house, but the haunted house is really, you know, of course, messing up the orange vibe with all that black. So I think I'm going to leave that alone and, um, carry on with pure orange there. I love this great big image. I love using huge images, but that one just, I think the white bowl just did me in. I just not digging the white. So as you can see, I've got my little stack uh, to the right of me, and it is um, dwindling down. I found this to cover up uh, my little exposed <laughs> movie star there, and that works fine. It's just supposed to be fun. It's odd. It's got a mixture of food and, you know, glamour queens on there, whatever. <laughs> 
And then here's a little piece for my blue pages. You guys, I just love just fitting all these little pieces in. It seems like it's gonna take forever, but it's just gorgeous. The more you put on these color glue books, the better they look. Okay, so I'm back in real time now after the little voiceover and I have got these images back here where I've put in my full pages. I love doing that part for some reason. I like the full pages. It's very pleasing to cover the whole page with one image. And so then these are going to be like little collages themselves. So I'm going to, I've gone through and found at least some starter images. Um, for most of these pages. I'm kind of stuck on this one. So I'll have to think about that one. But, um, so let's see what we got here. So we've got, let's test out a few. We've got Ellen here, which she, I think she's the one that I'm having the most trouble with. She doesn't exactly fit. And she sort of takes up the whole page, but she's still really cute. Let me, let me try, let me, let me do this guy first. Cause he fits in a lot of places. I mean, he fits in like all the black and white ones, I think. So like, he looks kind of good there. Kind of like he's going to take a picture or something. Um, not so much there. He looks really out of place there. So I don't like him on that one, but, um, I really like him here. See, he's very urban looking with his tattoos and he just kind of looks good on there. What do you guys think? Let me go ahead. Let's look over here too. Let's look on this page. He's, got, he's okay on that page too. Kind of like he's a fan outside of Radio City Music Hall. But, um, yeah, that's the only one. Um, but I think I like this one the best for him. So I'm going to go ahead and put him down here. I've got my little gluing area over here off camera. You guys can't really see it. But um, yeah, so this is so much fun, you guys. Um, I love that we're far enough along in this book to fill in some of the smaller color images and stuff like that. I just love the idea of going back and forth. I don't like to finish one whole page at a time. And I mean, if you do, by all means go for it. Of course, anything you do is fine because it's your book. Um, but it's just another way to do it. You could go through and try to find all the stuff that for one page and finish kind of quote unquote, finish that page. However, I don't like to do it that way. I love going back and forth and adding to it. Oh, he's really sticky. I've made him super sticky. I'm going to have to make him go off the edge a little bit so I can trim him. I had to cut him right there to get this little inside part out. But see, it goes right back together. So don't be afraid to do that. Sorry, you guys, I got something rattly on my desk. Apologize for that. Hopefully, you might not be able to hear it through my mic. 
Uh oh. Big glue bump there. This is still practice for me. Um, see, like that's kind of a boo boo. I let him have a big wrinkle right there. But I think the more, you know, the more I do this, the less of that I'm going to do. So by the time I finish up this practice book, I think I'll be a little bit better with all those uh ohs. Like measuring uh ohs and just things you don't think of before you get that sticky glue down. Okay, I love that. You guys like that? He looks great there. Okay. Now I had another idea. Ellen's just staring at me over there, wanting in the glue book. <laughs> But look at this. Look at her. Oh, I know. There's another page. Hang on. That, that we didn't turn to. Past this. This meadow is giving me trouble. See, she won't look good there. Of course. But look at this page. You know, she's kind of cool. And then all these people in their glasses are kind of cool. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Maybe I should wait and I'll just maybe find the perfect thing for her to like to lean up against. Cause that's just kind of a little, well, a little too random really. I just don't think, I don't think it suits her. So let's go back to this one here. She could always go on this one. Well, no. I just, I don't like her there. Okay. We're going to wait. But I've got the perfect place for this lady. Look how fancy she is. It's not this page though. <laughs> but it is this page. Look at that. I think she looks awesome on there. See, I can pull her over just enough to where you can still see Radio City. And then all this will be trimmed off. I think that's awesome. I'm going with it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Right, this glue stick, this particular one, is really sticky. It's getting me into trouble. It's making me mess up a little. Okay, she's got to go right. See that glue sticking to me? Okay. Okay, now let's see how that does. Oh man, y'all, she looks great there. I'm gonna get my corner rounder out and round some of my corners that I missed. Get out my big sharp scissors to make these cuts better. My little bitty scissors, you know, make me cut all choppy on these long cuts like this. There we go. And now I can tell that I need a little bit more glue right here. Perfect. Oh, you guys. She's incredible. Love it. Okay, and then this one, she is so cool. Look at her. She is from a Jimmy Choo ad for these shoes. And it was so weird. You know, she was just out in the woods with this peacock and these shoes. But look how good it looks right here. This is so fun. And I just randomly put these backgrounds down. See this one here? Uh-oh. See, I've got to trim that up good. Oh, that's him. That's the bottom of him I haven't trimmed yet. But look, look at this. See, I turned the page and she looked so good on here. Her shoe was, see right here, her shoe was missing the chair. Can you guys see that? There we go. If I put her all the way at the bottom, her shoe didn't go on the chair. So I put two rows of 
tape and I'll cover it up down here a little bit with some other things but look so she's kind of grounded and look it puts her right up there with her shoe right where it should be on that chair and then there's her tree and I'll cut her tree off at the top I'll scoot her back a little bit because I like these thermoses in the background actually what do you think isn't that great I think we're gonna save Miss Ellen for another day I mean for another page I'll find a couple of different backgrounds to choose from for her come on Laura let's get it just right I think that's gonna do it right there I'm gonna trim this little tree off and our little guy off on the other side close up my glue it's getting sticky too sticky here let's do the top and bottom of this page it's messy that's very messy but I'll just have to practice and do better next time <laughs> But I think she looks fantastic. All right, so we got quite a bit done. Let's see, we got um, this page and this guy. They're ready for some more gluing. This one, she looks great. Love her. Um, oh yeah, we've got this bottom part of this black and white page. She's awesome and glamorous looking. And then we filled in some pages on our, in our color glue book. We got the we got some black started here. I don't think we added any green today. We added here. And a front page of orange. We, we added this lady here on the red. And we did really good here on this red. Very bright and it really brightened this page up. And then we fixed our boo-boos on this page for the red. Added Happy Camper. Oh, we, we worked on our purple, which needed some work. I forgot to show you guys, I like prunes. It's made, it's printed in purple, plus prunes are purple. I think that, I thought that was cute. <laughs> it's supposed to be fun and silly. This might be kind of gray, but it's gonna go with the purple, so. And he's got a purple sweater and I thought he was adorable so I'm gonna go ahead and put him there and there we go I think I put a little blue piece in but we did real good today guys so I think that's gonna do it for today thank you all so much for hanging out with me be sure to hit the like button on your way out and subscribe so you don't miss a single video I still don't know what days that I can get the videos out I'm trying to do Tuesdays and Thursdays, so check back in on Thursday and see if we have a new video. We appreciate each and every one of you. Feel free to click the links and check out our other channels. We do have Fatbird Finds uh, Thrifting Channel as our original channel. And also, we have a new video out on Fatbird Finds Podcast where we are uh, talking about Mad Men. And that's a lot of fun. So check those out if, if those sound interesting to you. And then, always, as always, stay tuned just to see what Fatbird finds next. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.